When we crossed the Drake Passage for two days, we saw nothing but the ocean and the sky. But now we are close to South Shetland, and we begin to see mountains and icebergs. We plan to arrive at Deception Island in the late afternoon. In the morning, we have two lectures to attend. It's something I want to sort of dig into because we're going to do this in two parts because seals are such a big part of this voyage for us. We're going to break this down into two parts. So this is part one. Let's put it that way. So here we are, you and I, and my hope is that we'll move through seals on a broader scale as marine mammals and why they're here. What are they doing here and how many are here? And like I mentioned, examining eared seals versus true seals and really what sets them apart to try and have a better understanding of who they are, what their motivation is, and what the differences are between them. So hopefully you have a bit of curiosity about that specifically, and we'll break that down. So we're leaving behind marine otters. We're leaving behind the polar bear. They're not part of what we want to dig into today. So thanks for joining me. Let's get rid of that. This is more my style. So if we're thinking about all marine mammals and you and I, help me out here, massage your brain cells and please don't be afraid to speak up. This is more like a question. Not a Between lectures, we go to the sauna room. Stay until 11.45. Oh, what is this? Shower. Shower. <laughs> Tower, can, shower. Yeah, you have two shower rooms. Okay. okay. Shower, shower. Okay. Do you want to take a towel? Oh, of course. Yes. Thank you. Oh, the locker. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you, if you need. Okay. It's just a little bit. Just a little bit you put. A on. little bit? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you need... No, no, no. No, no. Oh. Yeah, just a little it, bit. It, it's hot already? It's, it's very, very hot. Oh, I thought we need to generate the steam. No, 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 no. no. It, it's already... Because yeah. at home we use it at uh, the water no, no, no. and the... Just, the door has to be closed. After lunch, paddlers went to deck two to try out the kayak with their guide. Then there's a briefing on helicopter operations and safety. And you don't really see any of our faces at any point. As I like the way Marla framed this this morning. She said, that's what my face looks like. That's good. That's what my face looks like. Well, a few years ago when I was slightly younger. This isn't my real hair, by the way. And not suitable attire for the heli deck, just so you know. <laughs> uh, Thank you. you will be seeing the Antarctic from an aircraft of this type. This is the, the Airbus H145 helicopter. Wow. These are not our exact helicopters. The astute amongst you will observe 
These are the Yorkshire Air Ambulance Helicopters. Steve started with a British military flying career. And Jonathan joined the British Army and has 6,000 hours of flying time. Phil joined the Royal Air Force and he is also a pilot. Then there's a DAC team to help the passengers. Helicopter experience. Ultra style, comfort and safety. In addition to providing you with memories and exp of a lifetime, we want to mega across the heli deck to the aircraft. They will then assist you in boarding the helicopter. Forward to the doors and never walk around the rear of the helicopter. If you have any arms, gloves and bags must be firmly secured before you approach the heli deck prior to your flight and again before exiting the approaching the helicopter as they easily fly off. Also, please do not take photos or use a selfie stick when approaching the aircraft. <laughs> Fasten your harness securely fastened. To adjust the straps, loosen them like so. Likely event you have to evacuate. Do not force the door further once it has stopped. As this could just hazard exists, consider using the door on the other side of the aircraft. Wooded and secure before reaching the heli deck. Especially if it's a safety matter, you are welcome to enjoy your flight. Of course, before we fly, we need to have a stable weather, low fog, low winds, high cloud ceiling, and a stable deck. To reach the helicopter pad, we need to go from deck 6 to deck 7. We are going to put on the life jacket in the bistro. Then we go to the next room to check our body weight. Then the crew will decide which seat you are going to take. One of the, the masks which fit in this manner. The one I'm These are inflatable floats and we must not step on it. This is the first time we do PCR COVID test on the ship. So all the passengers and crew members were tested. One passenger was found positive and two close contacts were isolated in their cabin. Now it's time to get familiar with your helicopter. Perfect. Yeah, get your video now. Okay. Yeah, otherwise the operation you cannot. Okay. It's windy, huh? Yes. Watch out. Okay. We're moving. Oh, that's good. I like it. Oh. Okay. Wow. Now we are approaching Deception Island. Back of the vessel, there'll be some of our colleagues from the hotel department serving fresh eggnog and hot cocoa with a special spike. So do enjoy that as you make your way to the outer decks for our entrance into Deception Island. Neptune's Bellows. The Deception Island is a horseshoe-shaped volcano island. Its narrow channel forms a natural sheltered harbour. Very few places that the ship can sail directly into the centre of a volcano.
this is what we see today, and this is how it looks like five years ago. Christmas Day. I apologize all I could get you were PCR testing. <laughs> you know, times have been tough. I actually moved down here to the South Pole. Did you guys know? <laughs> Mrs. Claus got the COVID and I had to go out to the shed with Rudolph. Then the, the elves got all the COVID. The workshop was closed down. They were break, breaking records, COVID records every day. So I get out of there. Anyway, folks, I just want to say Merry Christmas to all. Have a great night. Cheers. Thank you, Sam.